Hello everyone, this is Hunter Lecter with another action figure review and I uh, apologize in advance. I've been kind of slacking off a little bit on my videos, so I've been like spacing out. I've been busy with work, like I said in the last video, like about a week ago, I think. And uh, I kind of am trying to work a lot because I'm trying to get an apartment. Things changed because I was planning on going to the fall semester for Iowa State, but I am going during the spring mainly because of money reasons, because I'm trying to get more people to move in with me in a four-bedroom apartment, and also being able to do more videos like this, and also be able to collect these figures still. So I am trying to save up more money uh, for those two things. Um, if you but yeah, um, just wanted to explain why I've been kind of slacking. I will try my best to make more videos if I can whenever I'm free. Uh, I'll probably do some stop motion videos whenever I'm, I'm on my off time. But uh, let's go over the figure because that's why you guys are here. <laughs> um, so here we have the Doctor Doom figure from the Super Villains Wave to build build Zing Ximenu. So here is front with the Super Villains logo there, Doctor Doom. Uh, Marvel Legends logo on top. Here's the side art of Doctor Doom. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that description, you can. Marvel Legends logo on the top right. Here's Zimenu and all the figures to build them. So we got Doctor Doom, which doesn't come with a piece, FYI. We already went over Dormammu, uh, the, the hood, Lady Deathstrike. We still got to do Arcade. We already did it. Um, Red Skull and Ames um, Scientist Spring. And then here's the same picture of Dr. Doom there. Nothing on top. Here's the bottom with the DPCI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Dr. Doom out of the packaging here. So we'll go over his accessories first. So we don't get any pieces to build Ximenu, but we get this really cool accessories where it comes with a skull with a spine attached to it. So I love the detailing and the coloring on this. So it looks pretty good. It kind of looks like a scroll skull, to be honest, because of those lines down the chin here. So yeah, but you can't open it and close it. It looks like you close it, but that's mainly because you're bending the plastic in. But look at all that wash that they used on it to make it look like a real skull. And then here's this weird looking spine. So really bony looking. Here's the other side. It looks really good. But yeah, that's the spine for you. They used like a thing to start with a base white and they used like some light tan with brown with it. It looks like they used some black, like very light gray for like the cracks here, like around the spine here. And, uh, it's like in the deep spots where there would be shadowing. It looks pretty cool. This looks cool. Uh, cool accessory. I've never seen Hasbro do something like that where it's kind of like a dark look, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, but he comes with different hands here. So for his right hand here, he gets like a little cupped, cupped hand here. And that is mainly to hold the spine here. If I can manage to get it, grasp on it like that. So yeah, that's mainly for holding on to that spine there and then you get this other one where it's supposed to hold a gun because you get that finger pointed out like that and then here is the other hand for his left hand actually uh it's a fisted hand but yeah that's all we get for accessories here uh the other hands are on here uh so let's go over to figure here um i do have uh two other dr doom figures which we'll do a comparison with here in a bit so yeah, he comes with this white hood here. This is a brand new head sculpt here. Get that little point in the back, nice white. Uh, you get some like skin color for the eyes area that are open. So I think for the other ones, it didn't really show the off the actual face for him, like any bit of it. Uh, whereas this one shows off a little bit, like actually it looks like he's wearing an actual mask instead of it being attached to him. But I love the sculpt for his face here. Get some brown eyes in there. 
crown, like the mouth type of sculpt that they used. The silver, I meant the gray silver that they used. It's very reflective, I like it though. Um, and then for the torso here, brand new, no ab crunch, it's a ball joint, uh, which we'll go over with the articulation here in a bit. Uh, I think these are the same arms from the other uh, Dr. Doom figures with that circle around that elbow piece here. I uh, still got pin, pinned in joints for the elbows here. You get the white gloves and these are open hand gloves, which seem a little different from like wall crawling hands. They kind of look like wall crawling hands, but I think it's mainly for him to like do like the little plan. Let's see if we can get it to work. It's mainly for doing this like weird thing with his hands like this. Um, like I said, the torso is different, so that looks cool. Abs, torso, I meant uh, pecs look good. And you get this belt here with the silver, nice sculpt here for the buckle. You get a black belt around them there. You get a peg hole in the back of it, um, his torso, by the way. And you get a little bit of purple splotch there. I don't know where that's from. Um, you get this little pistol here, which I don't. Yeah, I think yeah, you should be able to take that. So yeah, holster. You you can just undo it, and then boom, you get his like little black a pistol here, which looks pretty cool. So another accessory which was kind of hidden. So kind of looks like a one of those World War One pistols, kinda, with that small muzzle, and they're like a regular handgun um, grip. So yeah, just slide that back in there like that, so it's safe. I think I won't be taking out that much, but it looks cool. It's a pretty small piece, so definitely be careful with that. And I think that's a different type of gun that I think that's brand new. I've never seen that. You get this like white skirt piece for him here. It has this nice texturing here that makes it look like it's actual cloth, but it's not, it's plastic, soft plastic. You get this like little slit here on the side so you can kick out, I think. And what's cool, the belt, I mean, the holster is attached to that skirt piece here. And then we've got, I've seen these leg uh, sculpts before from the other ones too, which we'll also go over with a uh, comparison. You get the circle here for the pin joints here. You still get the pin joints actually. You get these really cool knee pads or armor. Looks like it's your buckled on shin pads. You get like these pointed toed boots. You get peg holes at the bottom by the way too. But yeah, let's go over the articulation for him now. So his head is, I believe, let me see here. I think it's just a double ball joint. So his head can go up that far. Uh, nope, never mind. it's a hinge ball joint. So it's not a double ball joint. So head can go up that far, down that far. You can look left and right. He can pivot just a little bit here. Shoulders can move out just that far. 360 rotation around there. Bicep swivel. It's, the paint's kind of sticky to it, so you kind of got to work it in a little bit. It's kind of clicky. Just elbows double jointed there. Wrist can hinge down, up. 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint at the hips instead of. Uh, the uh, ab crunch so his, he can go forward just barely any, backwards barely any. He can go side to side. He did a decent amount. Oh, there we go. I got to maneuver a little bit. So you can go side there a little bit. You kind of got to push the bottom with it to go farther. I wonder if I had to do the same thing for the back. Oh, uh, yeah. So goes back a little bit more. So push down with the bottom if you want to get a little bit more movement with that ball hip joint. Legs get kick out decent. Forward, not a whole lot. The skirt piece gets in the way. Backwards, none. Thigh cut, double jointed knees here, which looks cool. Um, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here is the super villain wave next to the retro packed Dr. Doom with the soft good here around the collar. And then next to the uh, Super Scroll Build-A-Figure uh, with the Fantastic Four here. Uh, so yeah, 
Um, I kind of like the look of this. Um, I like the retro version. That's my favorite Doctor Doom figure. This one is cool modern, but this one's just perfect. I, I kind of like it. It probably would go well with like a future foundation wave maybe. Because uh, like if they had a future foundation Spider-Man, and then uh, the fan, the other three, I know Johnny Storm died in one of the comics, I believe, or went missing. So I hope they can do like a future foundation wave. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I got. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, um, me. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out my Twitch. Um, I am doing this new thing with my description. I'm putting a link tree in there. So I'm going to put my like Amazon wish list in there. I'm going to put my Twitch in there, YouTube. Um, I'll put my TikToks in there too, I guess, because I kind of do talk about movies and stuff now. I'm going to just try doing videos of me talking about movies, like the Spider-Man No Way Home stuff. And then we got news about Hugh Jackman, which will be a video that I'll make at some point. I'll probably just make that with the Spider-Man one. Um, but Twitch, um, I'm going to try to get on the Resident Evil again. I just, like I said, been busy and trying to save up money, uh, which is kind of tough to do when you're into this stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.